Hello everybody and welcome to another speed draw video. This time I'm drawing Barbie Bunny by Shades Draws on multiple platforms. I can link below as well. Um, and she is a bunny, a cute little white and pink themed bunny who owns, no, um, represents the Barbie Bounce Zone, which is cute. I wrote the at the start of this and I will fix that later because I spend a lot of time on the lettering. <laughs> I will fix that, I promise. Um, and yeah, it was a really cute design. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for like white and pink together. I think it's just one of like the cutest combinations. Like black and pink as well are really together, and like black, white, and pink is just to die for. <laughs> but yeah, I, th I just wanted to try as well something like not human but very humanoid. You know, adding joints and everything. I've not done a lot of robots, so I think it's probably good to start with quite humanoid ones and work my way up, maybe. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll find out. And so I just tried her out. I like looked up the glam rocks like base art and tried to take as much inspiration from that while not completely changing her design either. <laughs> and also tried to bring in little things about mine. Her original design doesn't have like the split in her ears for the animatronic thing, but I thought that that was maybe just a stylistic thing and I, I kind of wanted to do it because I do kind of like that look. There is obviously a lot of problems with the FNAF fandom. Well, not fandom, no, the fandom's its own thing. A lot of my issues stem from the thing itself. But hey, it's an iconic part of our culture in the last 10 years. It has its own value as an art piece. I know it's going to offend some people, but it's art. Even art you don't like is art. <laughs> Unless it's created by, you know, a digital program and not a human being in any stage of it. You know, no human being really had any input in it other than telling it something. That That's not art. <laughs> and I don't care who gets mad about that one. But yeah, so, you know, I have been somewhat interested in it and the fact that it's a horror thing. It plays on a lot of things I am scared of as a kid. Like, I, I am still a little bit uncomfortable around, like, furry and fursuits because I don't like mascot costumes. It's nothing to do with like what furries are like perceived to be like or anything. It's literally just like I, d I don't like mascot costumes. They make me uncomfortable that you can't like see the person and that they're pretty well protected and that you don't actually know what they have in their you know knife gun etc. Very much paranoia. You do not have to worry about mascots. I think the only example I can think of is one that didn't even include mascots where something bad <laughs> happened like that. So yeah, it's more paranoia thing, but yeah, I, I thought it was fun to play with the sort of scary and the cute. I don't really like robots and animatronics, so picking that with something cute, maybe I like them a little more. I think I like them a little more. Anyway, I think this has been quite a fun one. The design is really great. Um, Which Color Shades Draws is a great artist. I would check out their stuff. They've got very cool OCs, especially ones you can pick out for art fight. So maybe, maybe think about that one. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are participating in art fight this year. Um, and feel free to follow me. I'm Kai McTrash there too. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.